of the Action Elder fam. Today we are diving into some serious cartoon drama. Male something, I don't know. It is posing the most disrespectful cartoon character of all time. You won't believe how dirty they did some of your favorite sick stick around for some major laugh and surprise all right you saw the title so you already know what this video is going to be about before we jump in help me hit that 500 subscriber milestone smash that like button hit subscribe and let's keep their channel growing together Disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting scholarship and research Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor Run of fair around use. Them. Characters that get shit on so bad that you can't help but feel bad for them, no matter how annoying they may be. Starting off the list has to be Robin from Teen Titans Go. Now a lot of people didn't like this show, so you may not have seen it and won't know what I'm talking about. But if you have watched the show, you know just how bad bad Robin gets treated by everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean literally everyone. Even the other Teen Titans shit on him. He's supposed to be their leader, but they just don't respect him. They constantly yeah, they really undermine don't. his they leadership. They really don't respect Robin. They make fun of him regularly like, bro, by attacking I don't his appearance and his quote-unquote Robin. Hands. Starfire, another member of the group, treating leads Robin him on bad. the entire show just to embarrass him after he thinks he finally has a shot with her. It and Starfire? Like, Starfire hard and all, but Starfire. You see, you see, when you watch the regular Teen Titans, the old one, Starfire never disrespect Robin, like, and, and you can see, like, in, in a little bit each scene of that old one, Starfire be I'm feeling Robin, be feeling it. But then when you come to Teen Titans, go, bro, Starfire be, be disrespecting Robin on purpose. Like, Starfire be teasing Robin, like, like, Robin had a shot with her. And then in the end, she realized she go and and turn him down. Like, why why would you do that? It honestly doesn't make any sense why Robin is treated like this, considering in the original Teen Titans, he's respected as a leader. Yeah, he's, he's taken respected seriously. So and I everybody loves him. To make him a punching bag in the reboot. However, the worst thing that the Titans do to Robin you. has to be when they like, made him, him a punch by making him think his dead parents who died in a circus accident were alive and, and, and in his room like, waiting to see him. Of course, made once him Robin opened the door, he got fucked and his parents no were there. He had to sit there and laugh off the pain while holding back tears. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. My friends pranked me into thinking my dead parents were still alive. I'd probably never hang out with them again. So Robin's a stronger man than me. Next up on the list, Squidward from Spongebob. If I had to describe Squidward, I would say he's depressed, grumpy, and pessimistic. Yes. However, this all makes sense when you realize his neighbors are fucking Spongebob and Patrick, the most annoying duo in Bikini Yeah, the most annoying duo in Bikini Bottom. But, you can't lie, Spongebob isn't that st stupid or dumb. Alright? Patrick, on the other hand, Patrick is, is dumb, but not stupid. Right? Patrick dumb, like he don't know stuff, but he's stupid, like like he don't understand certain things. Squidward is forced to deal with these two bothering him almost daily, and over time you see why he is the way he is. He gets harassed at home, he gets harassed at work, he literally can't go anywhere without Spongebob and Patrick breathing down his neck, finding a way to push his buttons. I honestly don't think they mean to bother him as much as they do. But Squidward clearly doesn't enjoy their company, yet they can't seem to take a hint. I feel bad for Squidward because most people have the option to distance themselves from an annoying coworker they don't like when they go home. But Spongebob literally lives right next door, so it's 24-7 torture for him. Not to mention bitch-ass Patrick also lives right by him. So he's trapped and there's nowhere he can run. The next poor soul on this list has got to be Benson from Regular Show. Growing up, what I hated mean? Benson because I just thought he was a boring, lame guy. Yeah, I, I no mean, hated policy. Benson too. But as I got older, I understood his pain. I realized he was right to be so upset at Mordecai and Rigby. Those two slackers did nothing but ignore his request to clean up the park. Mind you, that is their job. And, like, um, 
I'm, I'm sorry I, I came up parsing it, but Mordecai is, is not always stupid. He's not always dumb, alright? But I can't lie. R Ruby is not dumb either, too. No, they're not dumb. They're literally getting paid to do. Yet they would rather summon demons and shit. Like, it's not that hard. They're just extremely lazy and irresponsible. All they do yeah. is play video games or do donuts on the golf cart. I used to love them back in the day, but now I just Me see too. them as a pain in the ass for Benson to have to deal with. They are all fun and no work, and they constantly piss off Benson to the point where you think he's going to pop a blood vessel. Not even that. These two made Benson so mad once that he literally went Super Saiyan and became the sun. It's hard enough being the one responsible character, but these 23-year-old bums don't make it any easier for him. Not to mention he has to deal with Muscle Man. We only have till three to stop the audit. Does anyone know someone who can help us? Anybody? Anybody at all? I know someone who can help. If you say you're- My mom, I know who can drive a go kart backward without looking. My mom, I know who can uh, go blind and, and uh, walk around with a, a dog on the leash. My mom, shut up. Your mom, you're fired. Oh, my oh. mom, get out. You dummy. It was worth it. As a what? kid, I honestly thought it was really funny whenever Benson would break down or snap. But growing up, his frustration hits different. This scene of him losing it genuinely almost made me tear up a little bit. Error. Hours! You were in there for hours! Now we're never gonna make it to the they dealership in time! It closes in 30 minutes! Games. We're sorry. Oh. We didn't know it was daytime. There aren't any windows in the arcade. Excuses! Excuses! How am I supposed to trust you when all you give me are excuses? What are you two gonna I'm learn that your actions have consequences? The episode sure after it didn't touch me, but I, I could like see me. why Benson and the guy so upset. I can I'm see. I'm about to lose my job. You may not care about keeping your jobs, but I care about keeping mine. Because if I lose my job, I have nothing. Do you hear me? I have nothing! Dang. <laughs> That's tough. Even Rigby and Mordecai were shook after that. An honorable mention before the last person is Jerry Smith from Rick and Morty. Wait, wait, Jerry wait. Jerry gets wait. verbally assaulted by Rick all the time. And oh, yeah, yeah, it. yeah. In all honesty, I, I, I don't I mind know. Jerry being he disrespected because he's kind of and pathetic. He constantly women. complains all about his life and reason. he behaves like an NPC, so it's hard to feel bad for him most of the time. Even his like kids NPC, and wife have trouble like viewing him anything dog, more than like a somebody, whiny punching bag. Uh, Jerry has uh, only pet. been cool once, and the other 99% of the time, he's getting his pride and dignity. Like, like me say, Jerry, 1% Jerry, awesome. That 1% Jerry, awesome, but, are you talking about that 99% Jerry? Nah. Are you watch Rick and Morty? Bro, Jerry get disrespected by, um, Rick every time. Shattered. Another honorable mention is Toby Determined from Gravity Falls. He is merely a side character in the series, but quite often does he find himself getting violated by the main cast, so I felt like I should include him. Yeah. He's, he's stupid! What a horrible mess! He's stupid and dumb! So, so I can see why he can't just catch him. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's actually better. Toby is a second You're rate dumb. reporter who gets overshadowed by the real reporter of the town. He also yeah. gets clowned for his dream of being a dancer. Like Jerry, he's also a little pathetic. He tries to be cool and it doesn't ever work out for him. Plus he got caught it's making done. out with a cardboard cutout of female news reporter. I know, I know this, but Jerry is actual reporter. But he's not the main reporter. Because in, instead of him being the main side character, he's just like backup type character. Some someone that they only use when they need to use him. Andre Jimenez. So I would say his treatment is warranted. Last but not least, we have Meg from Family Guy. Dad, what is it? What's going oh, on? Yeah. I heard a noise. Is somebody downstairs? Oh God, Meg, you startled me. I'm sorry. So basically, the show writers at Family Guy all got in a room and collectively Why? decided, "Fuck Meg." 
Meg is treated like absolute Why? trash. Why? Like the filth on May. the bottom of my shoe. May, she is blamed May for literally treated, everything, like, even if she has nothing to do with it. It seems like her humiliation May is supposed treated, to be a running gag in the show. Only. The hatred is clearly meant to be funny. Why would you treat me like trash? Like something you just throw out on the street? I can't help but think they could do way more with her character than just have her be verbally and physically abused by her entire family, especially by Peter. Who just fucking despises her yeah, for Pierre, no reason at all. Pierre so just don't want like me for no, for no most reason. Disrespected car nah. I don't know. It was crazy to see all these five, four, uh, five kids again disrespectful. No disrespect. Not disrespectful, but disrespect by other uh, characters. It, it, it truly make you understand why they get angry at the character the character and get upset now don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell to see more video like this